Hi everyone, my name is Xander Soriano and today I welcome you to my capstone project. Right when we were told about capstone being a passion project, I knew that I wanted to create something that tackled the large issue of pollution. Pollution is just something that I found very interesting throughout my youth with different variations, causes, effects, and consequences. However, as I grew up, I found that pollution is not really discussed at all within the science and socials courses I have taken in high school. With that said, this capstone project has given me the opportunity to take my learning into my own hands and explore something that truly intrigued me. Not to mention that this project has given me insight into environmental sciences, something that I may pursue in the future as next year I will be attending post-secondary for a science degree. With pollution being such a broad topic, I knew that I had to narrow it down as well as find a medium that could fully express the large amount of information behind the topic. With that said, my mentor and I agreed on a case study research paper on water pollution, as well as a collage representing the environment. The case study would allow me to create a more cohesive paper discussing the specific impacts of one type of pollution on an area. This area would later be chosen as Indonesia. At the same time, the research paper format would allow me to fully express my ideas towards water pollution, while the collage would have allowed me to convey the importance of the environment visually. The question that guided my research was whether water pollution's impact on the environment was worth economic growth in Indonesia. If you didn't already know, Indonesia is one of the world's most polluted countries due to its focus on economic growth. I chose to explore this question because I knew that it was a very contentious and debatable topic. There are benefits and disadvantages to both sides of the argument. There are, re there are reasons people would want to preserve the environment and slow economic growth, but there are also reasons why people would want to sacrifice the environment to speed up economic growth. This issue ultimately required many hours of research and required me to look at different perspectives to combine facts and statistics to find a reasonable answer to the question. In my research paper, I discussed three main reasons for water pollution, their contribution to Indonesia's economy, and their impact on the people and the environment. The three reasons for water pollution were industrialization, poor waste management practices, and an emphasis on agriculture. I will now summarize the points I made within each topic. More detail as well as facts and statistics are in the research paper. Industrialization. Industrialization within Indonesia was extremely beneficial to Indonesia's economy and gross domestic product, as more and more factories were able to produce more goods for buying and selling. However, Many of these factories were dumping their industrial waste into bodies of water such as the Sitrum River. The Sitrum River is a river body within Indonesia that millions of Indonesia's residents rely on for food, water, and bathing. However, due to poorly enforced laws, factories continuously dump massive amounts of chemicals and physical waste into the river, ruining the environment and the livelihood of millions. Ultimately, I mentioned that due to massive industrialization, Many industries are accelerating the growth of water pollution in Indonesia, as well as hurting millions of people relying on the Sitrum River. Next, poor waste management. Poor waste management in Indonesia is also a huge reason for water pollution. The fact is that most Indonesian cities don't have sewer systems or waste disposal systems because they're extremely costly to implement. Typically, Indonesians rely on septic tanks to store their waste. However, even septic tanks are in short supply as many Indonesians are unable to afford them. Consequently, millions of Indonesians are forced to dispose of their waste anywhere they are able to. This includes places such as the river or streets. I mentioned that although implementing these new waste disposal systems will take a very long time as well as a lot of money, effectively setting the economy back it will ultimately benefit the livelihood and standards of living for millions of Indonesians. Lastly, Agriculture. If you did not already know, Indonesia's agricultural industry uses a large portion of Indonesia's land. The agricultural industry is massive and largely contributes to Indo Indonesia's yearly gross domestic product. However, the issue with this industry is the massive use of pesticides and fertilizers, which contain many harmful chemicals such as bromine, phosphorus, and nitrogen. Once sprayed, these chemicals can be flushed away by wind and rainfall into bodies of water or seep into the ground reaching groundwater sources. This ultimately destroys marine life, disrupts the food chain, and takes away a vital resource used in almost every industry. Unfortunately, in Indonesia, the booming agricultural industry requires a high usage of pesticides. Ultimately, I mentioned with the continuous use of pesticides and their negative impact on usable water, the agricultural industry will ultimately suffer in the future if clean water is not preserved. In my conclusion paragraph, I ultimately state that if the government continues to allow the economy 
to improve at the expense of the environment, the pollution will eventually catch up and render the land and water unusable for any industry. This was my collage that I created to be able to display the beauty of the environment and nature. I used Photoshop and a variety of its tools to combine a series of images to enhance my visual. I initially intended to create this visual to display how humans are ultimately taking the environment for granted and how the environment is a source of leisure and work that should be preserved. My goal was ultimately to learn and spread information and knowledge about specific causes and effects of the specific issue of water pollution. I wanted to learn and to teach others about the devastating impacts people are faced with every day due to pollution. Within this capstone project, I ultimately got a chance to explore an interest and expand my perception of a global issue that will impact my current and future generations of people. I was lucky enough to choose a topic that related to my passion and potential future careers in science, as well as had a chance to develop my own opinions through research. Furthermore, I was also able to learn of new perspectives, realizing that there are always other reasons and viewpoints towards many issues. I ultimately realized that to be able to solve these issues in the future, you would need to first learn about what is going on and to look at the different perspectives of the issue. Only then can you gather information to create a solution. Thank you for listening to my capstone video presentation.